Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the matchup for the semi-finals of the YouTuber Draft League. Today we have to play against Dan Ottawa and his team, which is definitely the worst possible matchup I have had so far. I think he has the best team against my team in this league in general. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna be honest already. Like I don't see how I'm gonna be able to win this, but we're still gonna try, of course. As this looks awful, <laughs> but yeah, you see, you know my team. If you played here, like if you were like a longer, his team is nine tilts, which I'm already gonna change to the um, side shock here real quick. Jettisoned, Pelipa, Beedrill, Munchlix, and Ninetales, a Shadow, like usually he runs Shadow Ninetales, the other versions are normal, he has like a shiny Beedrill or whatever. I looked a little bit on what he runs, like not really a lot, uh, really, but like yeah, you see all his Pokemon, he doesn't run like Shadow Electrode or anything like this. The only Shadow that he really runs is Ninetales so far from what I've seen. Um, I guess for Ninetales is there, what is the best moves? I think actually... I think actually that Solar Beam is the best move that for it. Like, Red doesn't need the Psy Shock, doesn't need it anywhere here. For Ariados, yeah, already a Weather Ball. For Primate, maybe, but like, also not really. Um, I think actually, like, that Solar Beam might be better against Digger's B and the um, Mantine. So, yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. We're gonna battle, like, already in like a few hours or whatever. We haven't said when, what today, basically, I'm battling. Today is Thursday, by the way. Uh, which I always saw, like, in the comments. Oh, what if they see those videos and know what I'm bringing? They can only see the videos from the um, weeks prior in my thought process. So, like, they will not know what I bring this time around. And we take a look on how good it looks. I actually have to change real quick here. And you see one big problem. And the one big problem is Alona Ninetales. There is nothing that really beats it hard. I don't know if you even win this in two shields here. Uh, you barely win everything with the um, Cresselia. I want to see something real quick just for... Okay, yeah, you only tie in the two shields if you run Confusion. Okay, yeah, this thing gonna be a big, big problem. I don't really want to deal with it, to be honest, but I have to deal with it. There's nothing that um, I can bring that counters this thing. There's literally nothing. And we're gonna see here that, yeah, Ariados, even this thing, will lose, I think, in the two shields or something. Or, like, it's, yeah, it loses in the two shields. It's not even a good matchup in any shield scenario, which is kind of insane. We have nothing that is, like, techy to destroy this thing. It is, like, literally unbeatable for me, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to win against him, to be honest. Like, there's nothing I have against Nine Tails, literally nothing. The only thing which I hope that happens is that he runs Charm Ninetales, which looks way worse against me, but I don't think he does that. I think he mostly gonna run the uh, Powder Snow variant. Powder Snow Psyshock is amazing. Like, look at Charm. Charm is still strong against me, but, like, I still have more Pokemon to beat this. But, like this, I have no chance against Ninetales, so don't expect any win from me. Like, this is an entire, like, my entire team loses to it. Like, what am I supposed to do? On the other hand, my Amaran looks good. Like, Amaran looks really good. Psychic again against the Beedrill is good. Against Hitman Top is good. Everything it really has something to do with other than the Ninetales. If he doesn't run um, Dazzling Beam, though, like, against Ninetales is also okay-ish. Like, it's not the worst matchup. Of course, you still, like, your moves are resisted. You have to go for Psychic. But, yeah, you lose heart in every scenario. But it's, uh, at least you get him lower, yes. And because this is the thing here. What I'm thinking is... I'm not gonna beat Nine Tails in a one versus one, so I need two Pokemon. The thing is, we have a lot of Pokemon that have high damage, uh, like not high damage, they have like high energy generation, quick moves, but they don't do damage. Example, Umbreon, example, uh, Psycho, Cuts, Cresselia, Mudshot, Diggersby, Thundershock, Dedene, Ariel, this is probably that thing. We have basically all those Pokemon that have like the best gener energy generation quick move, but like they don't do damage. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm definitely gonna run the Cressalia with the um, Confusion, just because I'm gonna expect that they're gonna have the scenario in this matchup where, okay, I basically actually beat everything with Cressalia, which is cool, so I basically have the other answer there, he has nothing for Cressaia really, even though, I mean, just, like, this has super effective moves, we drill just into super effective moves. It's not the best either, though you have super effective moves, Munchlake has super effective quick moves, like, it's not it's not as good as it looks on paper here. But Cressaia, I think, definitely should get the confusion really quick. It already has, okay, so I don't really have to do anything here, that's good. Um, but yeah, um, 
this is gonna be definitely my main Pokemon. I'm definitely gonna bring my Cresselia every match. So I have to see how can I benefit my Cresselia the most. I think maybe actually my dear Danny looks pretty okay-ish here against Beedraw, of course, you don't really want to have it against, I mean against the Ninetales and the Munchlix and Electrode, Electrode most likely runs the foul play for the Cresselia. You always have like some options there against even the alone knight has to do something though. So I think the Danny has actually not a single safe swap scenario there where my opponent has, yeah, has actually nothing for the Danny. Like there's nothing that he can bring in where the Danny completely hard loses towards it. Of course, there are a lot of matchups that are not perfect, but the Danny as a safe swap here looks completely safe. There's nothing really that he can bring in, which completely hard walls it, which is cool. Good to know, of course, there. Um, the bad thing, of course, my Ariados. Um, yeah, Ariados has literally only bad matchups here against everything other than the Ninetales. So you have, like, that's, like it's kind of insane. Like, I have literally one Pokemon for Ninetales and there's Cresselia, so. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I am most likely, I am expecting him to bring the hit on top. I'm most likely gonna run Cresselia lead already. I don't know if he's gonna expect this for my first team, but I think he most likely will. Like I can go for draft, that makes it easier. I'm gonna use this in the lead and I'm gonna use the... Umbreon, do I want to use Umbreon as a safe swap or not? Um, I have Diggers B still. Diggers B has to be Earthquake because of Jettison. Digger Speed is actually really bad in this matchup as well. I need something to bait out the potential Hitmon top here. Castellia lead is fine. This in the back is fine. If he doesn't, if he brings Charm, this team would be really bad though. I can bring the Denny. I think I'm gonna bring the Denny. Like, why not the Denny? This looks like a fun team. I think the Danny is like super safe here. I know Beedrill is a problem. I know that he loves to bring Beedrill, but even against Beedrill, we outspeed this thing. We can definitely get to Tumus and we should be able to get shield advantage against him. Like, of course, um, Drogon hurts, but how much does the poison thing, uh, poison sting, poison jab do here? Uh, 7.5 damage means he has to go for uh, 14 2KO me, which means he gets a lot of energy still for before. Um, yeah, I think this is fine for the first team. Let's, let's see what we can else we can do. Um, against nine tails, I think he brings it a lot of times in the lead because it's just so safe. Like there's not nothing that he really wants to not face there. So I think Ariados in the lead might also be okay because I think he brings nine tails lead most of the time. I don't really see him not bringing this. What is also okay is Mantine, but the thing was Mantine again, you have Bubble Beam, Ice Beam here. You don't need Ice Beam at any Pokemon here. So what we're gonna do actually, is we're gonna go to our Mantine and give him the move that nobody runs on Mantine. And this move is, of course, um, the Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace, Wing Attack, Mantine. Let me see real quick how good this might be. Aerial Ace. We're gonna see that we have actually a decent matchup against everything else in Electrode. Like you can still do damage against Ninetales and you can still do damage against Munchlax, which is cool. So I think this is also a good idea. I don't think he expects me to bring Digger Speed a lot, so I think Electrode is very safe for him. What is our answer otherwise to Electrode? We have Ariados, which can beat it. We have Primate, which can beat it. Uh, I want to change Primate's moveset as well, real quick. Primate. We need the close combat if we bring it. That's a low sweep. That's close combat. Okay. Um. Okay, next team, next team, next team. What else can we run? Which is balanced. Uh, Umbreon lead, I guess. Draft league. Umbreon lead. Psychic Umbreon, please. Psychic Umbreon. Umbreon lead. Say swap of. We really use like this is a thing. Ariados say swap is so bad against this team. Like he, he literally has so many answers against it. So I cannot use a say swap. I can use it in the back though. And if we use, ah, uh, we can use you the say swap. He doesn't have a dark type, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay, this is fine then. This is very similar to the other one before, but we have to play basically the same Pokemon the entire time, which is kind of annoying. Um, I want to have something with Ho-Oh in the back, to be honest, because Ho-Oh is something that nobody ever expects, really. So we're just gonna go for the similar team, but we use you as a... Uh, 
do we use the SSA swap? We have to bring now. Nah, we have to bring the um, Cresselia every time. There's no way I'm not gonna bring Cresselia every time. It beats like everything there. Let me see also real quick the your shield scenario because it's more important for closer. And you see like that um, hole is way better as a closer there. Um, you lose against Munchlax. Yeah, okay. This, 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 this is all like some kind of a problem. I can use you in the back and use something else as a safe swap. What does he have against... Okay, if I, I think he brings Electrode a lot of times. Electrode just seems a very, very... I mean, it still loses against nearly everything though, to be honest. Like it only wins against two Pokemon and a zero shields here. So I think he maybe doesn't even bring Electrode that often. I can maybe bring ho -Oh as a safe swap there. As this is gonna pressure his... Nine tails a lot against Jelson. We can get a shield against Pelipper. We don't get a shield against Speedo. We get a shield against Munchlax. We get a shield against Nine tails. We get a shield against Hitmon Top. We get a shield. So I think we are fine here. Maybe this can be good. We have to see. I'm just gonna put some ideas and I'm gonna choose from them as soon as we have like the battles going on. I see the Pelipper against me as well because it beats um, Diggers B. How the fuck? Ah, we have Hyper Beam here. Let me go for the raw other one. I also gonna save me real quick and save him real quick. Um, yeah, okay. We win against actually everything in the zero shields with Diggersby. Other than the Pelipa and the Hitmontop. And against Pelipa and Hitmontop, we have it. We have it. We can use this actually. It's actually not the worst matchup anyway. Like, I like Diggersby more than I thought. Okay, we need something as a say swap here, which can beat. Yeah, we use the Mantine, I guess. Mantine say swap or oh, Mantine in the back. Jellison is still a problem. We can go for. No, we cannot go for that. Yeah, we have to use Mantine or the thingy. So, yeah, I've got to use Mantine. But Mantine say swap is a problem. I'm going to use Cresselia as a say swap here. Um, okay. And into the last team which i'm gonna pre-build we have to see which we're actually gonna use them i think i'm gonna go for the danny say swap again just because it's very safe here um primate doesn't really look too good to be honest like primate loses to the main squad of them i have nothing really against the first few and i think it's a little bit too risky for me like what i see really from him is um nine tails hit on top and Munchlax, Say Swap, and Electrode, but Electrode is also like not the best. Definitely Jellicent as well. Like uh, basically, I think Jellicent, Nine Tails, Pelipa, Munchlax, Hitmon Top, and Electrode are good. I don't really see the beat drill to be honest. Loses against nearly everything from me. I don't really see the Alolan Nine Tails. Yeah, the normal Nine Tails either, because it's only really neutral against everything. Um. So let's go ahead and build the last team. With that knowledge, we should be able to. Like we have to bring, we have to bring Cresselia in every game. There's no way around this. I could trick him. I could trick him. Let me let me trick him. Uh, if he brings Pelipa, you will bring it in against my um, Cresselia like this. Is there any problem with me running this? Did any lose against Nine Tails, but I can stay in against Beedrill? I have two Enders in the back. Against Alone Nine Tails, I have two Enders in the back. Against Munchlax, I can stay in. I have a decent answer in the back. Against Hitmon Top, I'm neutral. I think this is actually a very good team here because I can just stay in no matter what happens. And I can realign maybe my Pokemon or have it like any type of advantage at the back. So I think this can work out pretty well. And that's gonna be it for this video. This is gonna be my teams that I plan to run. We have to see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go outside and make this right real quick. And yeah, I'm gonna see you then in four hours when this game happens. Of course, today is Tuesday actually and not Monday for you. As we are in the semifinals, I hope we win. I don't really see how we can win against the nine hits, but other than this, we also have our Cresselia, which seems very good against him. So it's basically like a very even ties there. I don't know. We will see. Gonna be a very interesting game. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and bye.